<laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back to this week's video. If you're new here, my name is Kate Lewis and I'm an owl hooting, scooter riding, handstand doing, magnum eating, closer to being an actual show jumper. Now I have this horse, 20 year old rider from North Yorkshire. <laughs> That was the longest intro ever. <laughs> so if you follow me on Instagram, you may know that I have a new horse and that is basically what this video is gonna be all about. So if you haven't met her yet on Instagram, this is Carly. So I went over to Instagram yesterday and I asked you guys for some questions for me about Carly. Obviously she's new, so I realize a lot of you will have a lot of questions about her. I haven't really answered any of them yet. So I am gonna answer some now. <laughs> So I'm gonna start with some basic facts about Carly. So she is a seven year old Irish sport horse. Um, she is 60 and one and yeah, her name is Carly. <laughs> and we have had her for nearly two weeks. I think two weeks tomorrow. But I'm gonna answer some questions from Instagram for you guys now. This is the things that you guys wanted to know about her. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna answer these two together. So we've got, where did you buy her from? Hello. <laughs> and how come you got Carly? So I'm gonna start from the very beginning on this one. So I have been looking on and off for a horse to potentially jump bigger tracks with for a good couple of years now. It's taken a long time because I didn't have the biggest budget in the world to go looking for a horse like that. A lot of these horses are incredibly expensive for me anyway. We have been to try a couple over the last few years and it just hasn't worked out. Either failed vettings and stuff like that. I've kind of kept it quiet because I, I never like to jinx things like if I'm getting one vetted I won't say like oh we're getting a horse vetted today because then I think like oh my god it's gonna fail and just for various reasons it just hasn't worked out but I've been looking ever since basically we found out that Evie was gonna be really like inconsistent in her work and in her show jumping obviously at the time I didn't realize Evie was gonna just retire basically I've been looking for a horse since then because I thought like oh if Evie needs like time off and stuff it would be nice to have a slightly younger horse in the wings. You're very cute today. <laughs> I did buy Vanti about a year ago and I think I, I spoke about it in like a recent update video, fairly recent anyway, a few months ago, um, where I talked about how I wanted to keep Vanti forever and stuff and I may as well keep him because I'm having so much fun with him and stuff. And I was having a lot of fun with Vanti, but I think it got to a point, obviously I've sold Vanti now. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that. You may not know that if you just follow me on here. So I'm sorry for the lack of updates. This is kind of like an update video as well. <laughs> but yeah, I did sell Vanti in the end because I think I just realized in the end that even though I was having a lot of fun with him, it wasn't what I wanted to do at the end of the day. Obviously I've just started like my business as well. Again, if you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen that I've started a new business with um, a little bit of like buying and producing and selling horses and, and ponies and also schooling competition liveries and stuff like that. I realized that if I was ever gonna make a good start on my business that I would have to sell Vanti and that again if I wanted to do the things that I really really wanted to do in the future I would also I would have to sell Vanti and I also realized that I was maybe asking Vanti to because I wanted to do these bigger tracks and seniors and stuff I was probably going to end up putting too much pressure on Vanti to do that you know because I'd be there like oh I just want to jump like the newcomers or the fox hunter and like it's unfair of Vanti if he's not capable of doing that or if it's gonna put any pressure on him or stress him out at all Vanti was always going to be better in a lovely like pony club home uh, which is where he is now and he is having a fantastic time. So anyway I sold Vanti and I had in my head I was like I don't really want to touch the <laughs> Carly. I don't really want to touch the Vanti money at all. If I did it would be to buy like maybe a couple of little project ponies or something to bring on. But then Carly popped up on Horse Quest and I wasn't really even looking. I was actually on the like unaffiliated pony page on Horse Quest when I saw her pop up in the like, you might be interested in this thing at the top. I thought, she's really nice. I showed her to my mum and dad and obviously we'd been looking on and off for a couple of years and they, they basically said to me, look, if this is the one, if this is the horse, you can't 
not go and see her. You have to at least go and see her and see what you think. So even though I really didn't want another like horse horse for me at the time, I thought I'd be stupid not to go and look. So anyway, I traveled down to Derby the next day. This is about four days after I sold Vanty. So it happened really quickly. I went to try her and I just immediately really liked her. I really liked her personality. She's quite chill on the ground, but she also kind of reminds me of Evie because a lot of the time she's really like chilled out and zonked out like she is now. Other times she's like that fizzy at horse like Evie is and stuff. So um, I really like that about her. So I went to try her on the Wednesday, she was vetted on the Friday, and we picked her up on the Friday. It literally all happened in like two days. So the next question I have here is, what is she like to ride? She's pretty weird. <laughs> I have only ridden Carly three times now for various reasons, but mainly because when we got her, she needed her feet doing. I wasn't happy with her feet, so I wanted my farrier to do her. My farrier couldn't see her for a week, so she was basically just getting accustomed to her new home and like just going out in the field, being groomed and being fussed and like bonding really for the first week. And then once she had her feet done, I started doing a little bit with her, but I didn't want to do too much because I hadn't had her new saddle checked yet. I had her new saddle checked yesterday, so we are now ready to crack on, um, which I'm way too excited for because it feels like it's been ages. But to ride, she's like, she's forwards going, but she can also take the leg in a nice way like you could give her a kick on and she doesn't like freak out or anything um whereas like evie and nero like if you kicked them they would they just have a meltdown <laughs> um so she's nice and forward going but it's still like very rideable but i am struggling to get used to her canter because her canter is interesting her trot and canter so i think when i ride her today i'm going to do lots of like sitting trot work and no stirrup work just to try and get my seat like adjusted to how she actually moves so the next question is is she a forever horse or just a project i hope that she's a forever horse um obviously if things go well then i'd like her to be a forever horse but yeah, I hope you're a forever horse. I haven't bought her like as a project to sell on. I bought her as a potential forever horse. So I guess we'll just have to see how it goes, eh, Missy? <laughs> Next, what is your favorite thing about her? So I really like her attitude. She's so friendly. Um, she's just really nice to be around. I love her jump. Her jump is fantastic and her attitude towards the jumping is great. Like I remember when I tried her, she'd been used to being like run quite deep into the fences. So she struggled slightly to begin with when I asked her to stand off, but she never questioned me. She always went, tried to do the job that I'd asked her to do, even though she's a bit confused. So she's very willing and yeah, I really like that about her. What is her cutest and most annoying habits? I think her cutest thing is probably just like how she is on the ground and stuff she's really nice like to handle on the ground she comes to call in the field every day every day i go to the field and i'm like carly come to me and she like trots across her most annoying habit is probably that she has like zero personal space with her head um you could probably quite easily get knocked out by her <laughs> Um, she has a kind of big head and she just comes around and goes like whoosh with her head and she just knocks you flying she like threw my dad across the yard on the first day and she didn't mean to she was just just carly she'll probably do it to me at some course in the video <laughs> later um kind of like that <laughs> what's her breeding is the next question so 
Carly is quite well bred. I have her passport here, which I can't show you the front because obviously it has like her numbers on and stuff. She is out of a sire called Beowulf and a dam called Bust of Clover. So her sire is out of cruising and her grandsire on the dam side is Clover Hill. So she's pretty well bred. <laughs> Would you do the bareback challenge on her? So, I mean, I'm struggling to ride her with a saddle at the moment because I'm not used to her yet. So the thought of riding her bareback is quite a scary scenario. <laughs> but who knows? Who knows? You be my next bareback, Steve? She just left. <laughs> Carly has left the chat. Uh, what are your intentions with her? And will you try and qualify for Hoys with her in the future? So my intentions with her, I'm just gonna start her like I would any other horse in like BS and stuff. So I'm gonna start her from 90 British novice um, and just work her up from there, try and get her double clears and stuff. Main goals with her next year, I think, I would really, really like to like do second rounds with her. I'd like to do British Novice second round, Discovery second round, and Newcomer second round. And obviously with Newcomer second rounds, you can try and qualify for Horse of the Year show. So that would be really nice. Um, but I'm not gonna put any pressure on her. She's only seven, she'll be eight next year. So no pressure. We're just gonna take it as it comes and just see what happens. Also in the past, she hasn't done much at all. <laughs> She jumped about three classes, like very small unaffiliated classes as a four year old. Then she was sold as a dressage project. So she did a bit of flat work dressage and stuff and no jumping. Then she was sold as an amateur show jumper last year, I think. So she only did like a couple of classes then and she hasn't done any BS, nothing at all on her card. So she hasn't done much at all, which I really like actually, because a lot of these young horses are just over jumped as like a four and five year old. And then they're like, completely sour at six, seven, eight. Have you chosen a name for her? Not yet, I haven't. Um, I'm thinking we may go from something in her breeding, possibly like Beowulf Clover or something. I don't know what you guys think to that name, but Carly is unnamed in her passport, so she doesn't have a show name. Um, if so, if you guys have any ideas for a show name for her, make sure you comment down below. So I'm gonna go ride her now. Thank you for watching this video, you guys. Make sure if you enjoyed it, you give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Um, and don't forget to ring that little gray bell if you wanna be notified every time I make a new video. This is it for now. I have lots of videos coming for you guys this week, so make sure you stay tuned for those. And we will see you soon with another video. <laughs> Bye.